here we are, my new 2024 Custom Complete. I wanted to film a little bit more B-roll when I was building it, but I was just way too excited and concentrated. So you got a little taste of me working in the garage, putting this thing together, but why not just get straight to it and show you the complete build that I have in my hand. This is gonna be the scooter that I'll be riding, cause I'll be riding soon in 2024. This is a complete NV Custom with my signature deck and wheels. We're gonna do a rundown from the top to the bottom just so you guys can know exactly what I'll be riding this year and which parts and why. And we'll just start it up straight from the top. These are the TPR grips in black, my favorite grip. They wear in super nicely and actually feel really good from the beginning, which is very rare with most grips because you kind of want to break them in, but these feel really awesome from the beginning and they have a nice length to it. So if you need to adjust your hands, depending if you're throwing bar spins or whips, you can move your hand around and have that nice good feel. And they come with the nylon bar ends. Resting on the thermal bars, and these might look like steel, but they're actually the titanium bars painted black. Titanium bars are the way to go. If you can afford them, I definitely recommend them because you have the feel of steel bars, but the lightness of aluminum with that extra strength. And I love the feel of titanium tees. And I'll be riding these T-bars on my flat scoop. I think it's a perfect bar for flat. Resting on the Oil Slick Omen Clan. I asked you guys in the previous video which color combo for the fork and clamp, and most of you did say Oil Slick. So I'm running the Omen, SES, and Oil Slick with the Declare V2 in Oil Slick. You can see the fork through the deck. I love the way Oil Slick looks. You have a different color depending on the reflect of the sun, the positioning, keeps it fun the entire way. And in between that is the new Envy Zero Stack headset. This thing looks, feels awesome. It's less of a headache. You don't need that pinch ring. The cap is built in with the pinch ring. So that top race, you just throw right on. You don't have to worry about spare parts or losing the pinch ring or trying to fit the pinch ring on first and seeing it much easier calf bearings done i have some custom pegs that i put on there these are just to have a long peg i cut them to my length so you can see it barely fits look at that perfect cut extra foot space and before we get into the two best parts with the deck and wheels i'm going to show you the grip tape that i got on this is the new high grit and the grip tape a lot more grip a lot more durability new graphics love the look of this such a huge upgrade in the grip tape definitely I, I love this upgrade i love this high grit if you need to adjust and pivot you can still pivot on the grip but then still have plenty of grip to catch your tricks and kind of adjust to the right landing it's the nylon brake that comes with my sig deck custom pegs in the back with some spacers to push them out and now the best for last my signature wheels and signature deck and we'll do the wheels first my signature wheels that also come in four different colors and now 120 and 110. So depending if you're riding flat, street, park, most guys you ride park ride the smaller wheels so you can whip faster. So they do come in 110 in black and white. And 120, you have four different colors and these are the black and white. I love the black and white. It's just the classics, the original color, but there are three other colorways that you can grab. That'll be linked in the description. So you can check out the other colors, but this is the 120 black and white. We're in North Carolina, but I'm from New York City. So I always represent New York City as my hometown. All of New York City crammed into one full core, hollow core, 120, 26 wide wheel with just enough width for traction and speed. I think it's the perfect width. You kind of got a little taste of what I was doing to the deck. I cut my deck, I customize it just so I have more room for pegs and foot space. I don't recommend this if you're riding street apart because this weakens the deck, but for flat, just my flat scooter i shaped the deck out and this is my signature deck again being from new york still representing it this is the globe you guys know this is the iconic spot with that gradient transition of graphic on the bottom and the deck looks white but in the sun you're going to see like this pearl bluish purple reflect with some high sun so you get that little flavor depending on where you're filming right now it's kind of like that pearl white it comes in two sizes right now and there's actually a huge sale I think the deck is almost half off. So if you want to grab one of my signature decks, now is the time. And I usually don't really try to push my deck or push my parts too much. I want you to be true and be a fan of my parts and do it naturally. But I would suggest if you are thinking about it, to think about it a little more because this deck is now on sale. I think it's like a hundred bucks. This is insane. So a hundred dollars for my SIG deck. You guys want to grab one comes in two sizes i'm riding the smaller size for my flat setup i do like a smaller scooter for flat but this is it this is my 2024 build i love the way this thing looks i have not even put my foot on it yet because i want to save this look for you i don't want to scratch it or even dirty the wheels i think it touched the ground for a second but i mean check it out i'm excited i hope you're excited for me to at least start to ride in today's video i'm not gonna be riding too much because i'm only halfway through my injury recovery, as far as the progress, there is no pain. I'm pain-free. 
but I just need to be stronger and I need to be able to protect my spine because I hurt it and I'm pretty sure it's healed, not 100%, but healed enough where I don't feel anything, which is awesome because that was very, very frustrating and deteriorating to not just my physical self, my mental self. Could not figure it out, so I was freaking out. Ugh. But I got under control and I can do most things. I just wanna make sure that I shield it, protect it. Don't do this ever again so I can be at 200%, especially this summer, that's the plan. So I'm gonna at least do five tricks today. Try at least one up the last session, which we did a half lash, a whiplash, and some small things. We got this cool spot right here, it's nice downhill. It's gonna help with not being able to pump to my best ability but still be able to roll and test out these wheels, test out the scooter. And if you're looking for anything that's on my scooter or any parts in general, or any scooters in general, check out the link in the description. Grab my signature parts. I would recommend to really look at the deck because that's the probably the best opportunity right now. Check it out, I really suggest it. And uh, let's get a little mini session right now just to kinda, I gotta ride this thing. The second session since being hurt and not being greedy. Let's call it there. And that wraps it up for session number two with the brand new build for 2024. I'm excited to ride and I'm excited to ride this scooter. If you guys are looking for any of the parts that are on here or just any scooters in general, make sure you click that first link in the description. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite part is that you see on this scooter. Maybe I'll give one of them away, but with enough comments then that might convince me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This year we're hitting a million, 100%, I'm calling it. And if we don't, I'm giving all my scooters away in that queer ride. <laughs> I know we'll hit it.